Hi everyone. Welcome back to Mommy and Daddy Kids. I hope you're having a good day and that you've been keeping well. How many books have you read today? Is this your first book? Good job for sitting down and reading with us. Let's have a look. Today we have a, a story called Pit the Cat Falling for Adam written and illustrated by Kimberly and James Dean. Let's check it out. It's the first day of fall and Pit the Cat is feeling blue. I like summer better, he says. In summer I can swim and surf and play at the beach. Maybe you just need to remind yourself of all the things you love about autumn. Mom suggests. Hmm, Pete says, I try. Pete finds grandma in the kitchen. She's baking delicious pumpkin pies. The whole house smells sweet and spicy. Pete loves helping grandma bake pumpkin pie, but he loves helping eat it even more. After the baking is done, Pete picks a squash orange pumpkin from the counter and slips it into his backpack as a souvenir. Oh, I can see two pumpkins. One big and one small. Next, Pete heads to the town corn maze. Pete and his friends wander through the long twisty paths made of tall corn stalks. The best part of the corn maze is getting lost and having to start over again. As he leaves, Pete plucks a golden corn cob from the maze and places it inside his backpack. Then Pete visits Grandpa, who is knitting on the porch. Grandpa helps Pete use the knitting needles to knit the yarn into corn patterns. I can't see the pattern, do you? Purple, yellow, purple, yellow. Together, Pete and Grandpa make a long, cozy scarf for Pete to wear. When they're done, Pete draws a little ball of leftover yarn and places it inside his backpack. Next, Pete goes to the hayride at the park. Pete, Bob, Mom, Dad and Grandpa all into a wagon filled with hay. They go on a bumpy wagon right around the park. Woohoo! Pet shots. The wheels on the wagon go round and round, round and round, round and round, all through the park. At the end of the ride, Pet grabs a handful of sweet smelling hay from the wagon and stuffs it into his backpack. Pet heads over the apple orchard where he and Kelly go apple picking. They eat sweet apple donuts and drink hot apple cider and fill their bucket with apples of all different shapes and sizes. Before he leaves, Pet chews a round red apple and drops it into his backpack. How many apples do you see? One, two, three, four, five. He stops by the park. He plays touch football with Bob and their friends. But he scores touchdown and everyone cheers. Touchdown! After the game, Pet grabs Bob's football and stuffs it into his backpack. It barely fits. Bob won't mind if I borrow this, Pet says. Finally, Pet 
heads back home, but he stops in his front yard, which is covered in bright leaves falling from the tree. Pet helps his dad break the leaves into big colorful mounds. Then Pet runs and jumps into all the leaf piles. After he's done jumping, Pet picks a bunch of red and gold and orange leaves and stuffs them into his backpack. Pet's backpack is bursting with fall souvenirs. He can't wait to show mom. I love autumn, Pet says. Wonderful, says mom. You know, this would make great decoration for Thanksgiving. So Pet helps mom fill a basket with all his mandos. They place the basket at the counter of the table. You did a great job, Pet, says mom. It's a beautiful, says dad. Is that my football? asked Bob. Just then, the doorbell rings. Ding dong! Thanksgiving guests are here. All of Pet's family and friends gather around the dining room table. They tell us stories and laugh and jokes while they eat. Everyone is having a great time. Pet looks around the table and smiles. He loves lots of things about autumn, but Pet knows what he loves most all year long. His family and friends. I hope you enjoy. Give us a like and subscribe and click on the bell for more stories like this. We take care of yourself and your family. Read lots of books. See you back here soon. Bye bye.